In the chaos of the Second World War, nations faced not only the horror of battle, but the equally urgent challenge of feeding both armies and civilians under relentless shortages. Victory gardens sprang up in backyards, abandoned lots, and even public parks. Farmers were pushed to the limits, and governments scoured history for crops that were hardy, fast-growing, and resilient enough to thrive in poor soil with minimal inputs. Among the answers rediscovered were ancient grains, millet, amaranth, and sorghum. These were not new inventions of modern agriculture, but relics from humanity's earliest farming days, long overshadowed by wheat, rice, and corn. Yet in the darkest hours of global conflict, they proved indispensable. And what many gardeners don't realize today is that these same grains still hold the power to restore dead, lifeless soil within months, all while providing nutritious food. Their story is both a forgotten wartime strategy and a living blueprint for soil revival that modern gardeners can put to work right now. Why Ancient Grains Became Weapons of Survival in Wutu the Second World War created unprecedented strain on global food systems. Shipping routes were cut off, imports shrank, and fertile land in Europe and Asia was scarred by bombing campaigns, tank treads, and trench warfare. In Britain, the Dig for Victory campaign urged citizens to grow food wherever they could, while the United States promoted war gardens to reduce dependence on strained supply lines. Governments looked for crops that could grow quickly withstand harsh conditions and still provide caloric density. Millet, amaranth and sorghum had been used for millennia in Africa, Asia and the Americas, but in the modern era they had fallen out of favour compared to high-yield wheat and corn. Wartime forced a re-evaluation. These crops were not only hardy, but capable of thriving in depleted soils, reviving fields that traditional staples would not tolerate. Soldiers at the front might never have realised it, but their rations were supported by the hidden contribution of ancient grains quietly sustaining the home front. The science behind their soil restoring power. What makes these grains so powerful for soil revival is not just their resilience, but the biological mechanisms they trigger beneath the surface. Millet, for example, develops fine, fibrous roots that penetrate compacted soils, breaking them open and improving aeration. Sorghum, with its deep root system, brings up nutrients from subsoil layers while also producing biomass that turns into rich organic matter when tilled back into the land. Amaranth is unique in its ability to tolerate low fertility and still thrive, while its leafy growth shades the ground, suppressing weeds and reducing soil erosion. Together, these grains don't just survive in poor conditions, they actively heal them. Their roots feed microbial communities, their residues enrich humus, and their dense growth protects the soil surface from sun and wind. Within a single season, ground that looked barren can begin to show signs of life again. Wartime fields to modern gardens during the 1940s, farmers in regions scarred by bombings or drained by overproduction often turned to these hardy grains as a stopgap measure. In parts of Eastern Europe and Asia, millet was grown not only for food, but also to cover soil quickly, preventing further degradation. In the United States, sorghum gained renewed attention in Dust Bowl-affected areas, where its drought tolerance made it one of the few viable crops. Amaranth, though less widely planted, became known in some circles as a wonder food because of its high protein content and adaptability. Today, the same strategies apply. Modern gardeners who face clay-heavy soils, sandy patches, or beds worn down by years of overplanting can use these ancient grains in the same way wartime farmers did, sowing them as cover crops to restore balance, protect fertility, and prepare the land for future harvests. How they work as living fertilizer. To understand their effectiveness, just picture a patch of compacted grey soil where, honestly, little grows. Planting millet there triggers a web of fine roots that act like a natural tiller, breaking the earth open gently instead of with steel. As the plants grow, they pull carbon from the air and lock it into their tissues, which later decay into organic matter. Sorghum adds another layer, 
reaching deep into the soil profile and cycling minerals back to the top, where future crops can use them. Amaranth brings resilience to the mix, thriving even when nutrients are scarce and contributing leafy matter that decomposes quickly into nitrogen-rich compost. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, which provide a short burst of nutrients but often leave soil depleted, these grains enrich the soil naturally, building structure, feeding microbes and storing fertility for seasons to come. It is the same principle that wartime planners relied upon, but it remains just as useful in a modern backyard garden. Food and soil, two needs met at once. One of the overlooked benefits of these grains is that they don't just restore soil, they also provide valuable food. Amaranth leaves can be eaten fresh while its seeds are packed with protein. Millet cooks quickly into porridges or breads and remains a staple in parts of Africa and India. Sorghum produces grains used for flatbreads, syrups and even brewing. During the war, these dual purposes made them vital, allowing land to recover while also putting meals on the table. Today, a gardener can use the same logic, grow a crop that not only prepares the soil for future vegetables, but also provides a direct harvest in the meantime. Few soil-building strategies deliver that kind of double return. Lessons for today's gardeners. Looking back at World War II, the revival of millet, amaranth and sorghum was not an accident, but a necessity born of crisis. Yet it holds lessons that extend beyond wartime into our own era of climate challenges and depleted soils. These crops show that the answers to modern problems often lie in older, simpler practices, methods tested by centuries before industrial farming overshadowed them. Gardeners today can rediscover what wartime farmers knew, that the path to abundance begins with soil health and soil health can be restored by planting the right crops. Ancient grains are not relics to be admired in history books, but tools still waiting to be used in the backyard garden, urban lot or small farm. Closing Call to Action The story of these forgotten World War II grains is not just history, it is a reminder that resilience and restoration are possible, even in the most depleted conditions. By planting millet, sorghum or amaranth, modern gardeners can heal their soil the way wartime farmers healed fields scarred by conflict. They can grow food, build fertility, and leave their soil richer than they found it. These grains, once overshadowed by modern staples, remain some of the most powerful allies for anyone who cares about self-reliance and long-term sustainability. If this hidden chapter of history inspires you, Take the lesson from the past and put it to work in your own garden today. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to In the Beginning for more forgotten survival strategies, powerful wartime stories and timeless lessons that still matter now. Share this video so others can rediscover these grains and join in reviving the wisdom of the past.